Let's see how good Canva is for editing videos. Today I want to push the Canva video editor to its limit and we will be creating entirely with Canva a video ad for Facebook. Let's go. What is up everyone, Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. This is the best place for you to learn anything and everything about Canva. Today, we are going to jump and continue learning about making videos with Canva. We are going to push Canva to its limit and see if we can design a professional video ad for Facebook. I have prepared a video project we can work with and we are going to be creating a 30 second video to promote a webinar that will happen on Facebook. All right, the video will be divided into eight steps and you will find the timestamps in the description. And we are going to start right now with step number one. Step number one is to choose the right document type for your video ad, okay? So I am here on the Canva homepage and uh, we are going to start from the video icon right here because what we are creating is a video ad, okay? So heading over the video icon, we will see different types of documents, okay? So the one I want is a video that will be optimized for Facebook. Okay, so there is a, such a document type, it's called Facebook video. It's a one by one aspect ratio video and its resolution is 1080 by 1080 pixels. This is perfect, this is what I need. So I'm just going to click on it and Canva will open a blank document in the Canva editor. There we go. And we can see it's a video project because we see the first page right here is on the timeline. This is my timeline because I have a play button. Okay, so this is step number one. Let's quickly move to step number two. Step number two is to actually write your copy or decide on what you're going to say, what is your text, what is your script for your video ad, okay? So the goal of this ad is to actually promote a free webinar that I will be delivering via my Facebook page. It's gonna be free and it's going to be in the format of a Facebook live event. Okay, so I will go live on my page and teach a one hour webinar for free for whoever wants to join. Okay, so that is kind of like what people are getting. Now, I need to create a well-optimized copy that would make a 30 second max video ad. Okay, so I went ahead this morning, I thought about this, like what would be the best copy? I kept it to the point and uh, this is what I came up with. Okay, so I'm going to be using the notes clicking on the note button right here to paste my copy. All right, so the copy goes like this. What's up Canva lovers? If you want to learn how to use Canva to create multiple streams of income, I invite you to join my free webinar. It is going to be completely free and beginner friendly. I will talk about eight different ways me and my team have been using Canva to generate money. My goal with this tutorial is to help you too get started and design the life that you want. Okay, so that is the copy. Now I'm going to be shooting this and you will see that I divided this copy into different paragraphs here. So why did I do that? Why did I structure my copy like so? Well, because I have some ideas of what kind of images, what kind of titles, animations will be coming on top of me talking to the camera, delivering this copy. Because it is an ad, I need to retain people's attention by any means possible. Meaning, I cannot just talk in front of the camera for 30 seconds. Things need to change. Things need to be moving on screen and something new kind of showing every couple of seconds to maintain people's attention. So let's have a look at step number three, which is shooting your talking head. And we are going to be using Canva for that. The good news here is that I can record my video, I can record my talking head straight from here from inside Canva. So in order to do that, I will have to head over the uploads button. Okay, so click on uploads and find the button that says record yourself. When I click here, this is what I will be seeing. You see, I am here in this talking bubble with my secondary camera, which is this one right here. So what I can do from here is to set up my camera and microphone, okay? So I have my notes right here, which is great because I'm gonna be reading these notes or 
actually memorizing and delivering the text to the camera. So I speak directly into the camera. But first, let me sort that part out right here at the bottom. I'm using the wrong camera here. So if I click on the little camera icon, you can see all the different cameras that I'm using. The Camlink 4K right here is the camera I'm using to record this tutorial. So it's kind of a meta because <laughs> I'm shooting a tutorial and I'm showing you how to record. So let's see if I can use this one as well. Okay, good. Now I have my main camera right here, switched to the cam link, and I'm all good for uh, shooting the video. Next, I'm gonna be uh, setting and choosing the right microphone. So here again, I'm gonna select the cam link microphone. So that is the setup. And you will see that you will be in this talking bubble. You can click this icon right here to just get out of the talking bubble and, and just position this wherever you want. At this stage, it doesn't really matter because this video could be used at any resolution. It will be shot at the resolution it is filmed. So basically here it is a full HD camera. So I will have a good enough video quality for my talking head. So it won't look small like this in the final outcome. All right, so the way I'm going to be doing this is just to hit the record button. There will be a countdown and then I can start delivering my text. I'm going to stop the recording process right here because I actually did all that hard work this morning because I want to save you the hustle of listening to me uh, not pronouncing the things correctly or, or failing at looking at the camera. So I'm gonna stop it right now so you see the entire process. You can click on done and then once you're done, you can save and exit. And Canva is going to upload that video into your uploads folder, your uploads area of Canva. So uh, I'm going to exit and not do that because I want to use the recording I made this morning. But that is the step. First, you set up your microphone and camera, then you hit record, and then you can deliver your presentation. And you can use your notes right here to help you do that. All right, let me show you where you will find your talking head or the video recording you just recorded. Okay, so once you've clicked save and exit, your video will be uploaded under your video uploads. Okay, so if I go to my video uploads right here, I will find here the video recording I recorded this morning when I was practicing for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and click on that. And What's up, Canva lovers? Yep. You see, so this is my video. I have a couple of fails there. So what I will need to do is to actually edit that video. I will need to cut it and only keep the parts that are relevant for me without the mistakes, without the hesitations of me properly looking at the camera. So this is quite a bit of work. You need to really listen to it carefully and slice your video at the exact right time. So let me show you how I do that, okay? So the video is here. Maybe one thing you can do, and actually I highly recommend you do so, is to scale your video before you start to cut it into pieces. Because if you don't, if you cut it into pieces in this format, then you will end up with a collection of maybe 10, 15 different clips, and then you will have to scale them all individually. On the other hand, if you properly frame your video when you have only one video clip, like right now, and if you cut it, then it will already be in the right layout, in the right dimensions. So let's start with this. This is super important. I've done the mistake before, and I don't want you guys to commit the same mistake and then lose your time at the end of the project. All right, so what I'm going to do is to put that video in a grid. Okay, so grids are to be found under the Elements tab. If I scroll all the way down, I'm gonna use this good old grid right here that is full screen, that's gonna be perfect, and my video is gonna snap right into it. Okay, so now I have my video inside of that grid, and it looks well-centered. So I can play it. What's up, Canva lovers? Okay, so this is good. What I need to do, to slice this video to actually keep only what's good in the video. All right, so something else I'm gonna show you from here, you see the zoom panel here. If I click on this little button here, you see that I'm toggling between the main rectangle here, which is what you see here, and the uh, timeline, which is what you see here at the bottom. If I reduce the zoom on the timeline, you see I, I can actually see the entire timeline on my page. So at 27%, I see 
the entirety of the timeline. So remember what this button does right here. If you are here and you scale, then what you are scaling is your working area. Okay, so I recommend this one, you click on the number and you, you select fit. But the one right here at the bottom doesn't have a fit option. Okay, so you really kind of have to scale that manually. And for me, I found that 27% shows me the entire timeline. All right, now I have this, let's listen to this and start slicing. What's up Canva lovers? Okay, mistake, so I need to cut that. Playing with my chair, let me move. What's up, Canva lovers? If you... oh, multiple streams. Okay. But if you want to learn how... Okay. What's up, Canva lovers? If you want to learn how to use... Okay, so it seems that here up, is actually a good spot. I'm gonna zoom back in and move my timeline so I can see what's going on here. What's up, Canva lovers? What's up, Canva? Okay, I'm gonna start at 2501. Okay, so the way you are going to separate, to cut and slice these different uh, video footages is by positioning your finger, your cursor on the time indicator. You see it's right here. And I'm gonna right click and split the page. Okay, so now if I play this, What's up, Canva lovers? Okay, you see it starts exactly where it needs to start. So I'm going to delete this first part right here. And basically what I'm going to do is to continue cutting my video to get rid of all the imperfections. So I will end up with a collection of video clips. And I think I'm gonna skip this process because it's pretty boring and pretty repetitive. I just showed you, just remember that in order to slice your video, you need to right click with your mouse and then split page, okay? This will create another page and you can delete the part which is not good. All right, so I'm going to speed up the video and jump into step number five. All right, step number five is going to be to create your animations, to create every single piece of design that will come and support the text that we are delivering face to camera, okay? I have sliced all my video and this is what it looks like. I have quite a longer piece for the intro, okay? And then I have sliced everything else because I believe... Webinar. It is gonna be completely free and beginner friendly. Because I will be introducing on each of these pages a different animation. So one piece of explanation here, why do you see so many slices and so many short slices right here? For example, I have eight short slices because I want to create an animation that will basically show the eight different ways that we have been making money with Canva, but I want to have like one keyword showing up on screen one after the other. And because there would be eight different ones and I want the animation to go from one to the next, right now, this is my only option in Canva in order to create such animation. I cannot put something on screen and ask Canva to only show that after a couple of seconds. This is not possible right now. So the only way for me to achieve such an animation where things appear one after the other is to create different pages. So I have sliced my video file, my video talking head, exactly where I want to show these different things. And it will start to make more sense once we design these keywords, which is right now. So let's get into it. First, at the beginning of the video, I would like to create a very short animation that says design your life. Okay, so this is gonna be simple. Let me create another page right here at the end. And I'm gonna be moving my pages around uh, at the end. Okay, so it's gonna have this yellow color and I'm gonna introduce a text box. Okay, right here, I just hit the T key on my keyboard and this one is gonna say design. Okay, I'm gonna use my custom fonts, which is prompt bold and I'm gonna give this a 100 size. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my page. Okay, so design, this is good. Five seconds is obviously way too long. Let's reduce this to maybe a second for now. And I'm going to be duplicating this page. Okay, so duplicate page, design your, and I want this to be all caps. Okay, I want to make sure it is in the middle, it is. Let's duplicate this page and the last one says life. This, design your life. 
Okay, let's make sure it is in the middle. It is. Okay, design your life. Let's play this last three seconds, design your life. Okay, it's a little bit slow. So I'm gonna reduce the duration of each of these slides. So the first one right here, uh, one second, maybe I should reduce this. The good thing is that you can go all the way to 0.1 second. I think 0.6 second would be a good timing. Okay, so I, go, I will go 0.6, enter, same here, 0.6, enter, and the last one as well, so 0.6, enter. Let's double check that we are at 0.6 for each of these, and let's play that again. Design your life. Okay, so that's way better. It's kind of like more dynamic, uh, like so. But I want to start adding some movement to this because this is quite, quite simple. So by selecting the first piece of text, I'm gonna go to my uh, animate button right here and I'm gonna start finding the right animations. So I could go, let me find like ascend, something that is kind of coming from the bottom ascend. Yeah. This is good design. This is gonna be this, the first one. Okay, for the second one, I'm gonna go with um, shift, I believe. Ascend, then shift. And then for the last one, I'm gonna go with something a bit stronger. Let me select it. Um, either, not block, because with this short amount of time. Yeah, let's go with stomp. Design your life. Okay, now let's play that again with the animations, design your life. Okay, that's good, I like that. So let's grab these three frames right here. So these three pages in Canva and position them at the bottom of my project. So it will start like this, the ad will be design your life. Okay, so it catches people's attention from the beginning before I start actually speaking to the camera. Now, uh, let's go back to the editor. I'm gonna leave the grid view and play the video from the beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the playhead from the beginning right here. What's up Canva lovers? If you want to learn how to use Canva to create multiple streams of income, I invite you to join my free webinar. It's gonna... Okay, so I'm talking about a free webinar. I have like eight seconds of talking head. I feel like I absolutely need, that's why I have made a cut right here. I absolutely need to switch the visuals. Something needs to happen here. And I'm talking about my free webinar. So what I will do is to actually show kind of a thumbnail of the free webinar. If you're using Facebook to deliver your webinar, like if it's a Facebook event, I would recommend you use the cover that you used for that particular event on Facebook. You use that to kind of give people a glimpse of your webinar, okay? So I'm going to do that, but here I don't have the cover yet because this is an imaginary webinar. So I'm going to design it very quick, okay? So I'm gonna use the same yellow background, okay? Uh, I want to show a frame of a computer because it's a webinar and inside the frame, there will be the title of the webinar. So I'm gonna go to my frames right here under the elements, see all and search for a laptop. Okay, search for laptop within frames. Very good, I can use this one right here. I'm gonna position that here for now. All right, next I'm going to bring a photo of myself. Okay, so I have this professional photo without a background. This is gonna be useful. I'm gonna position it here. Okay, design your life with Canva. Okay, so I want to say this is a free webinar. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that from another design right here. So free webinar and design your life with Canva. So I want something that stands out a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna go to my elements, clear that search right here, get out of frames, and I'm looking for a gradient. Something that will jump at my viewers. I'm gonna select my photos and I want like a deep color like this one right here. So I'm gonna take that, drop it into my laptop. Okay, this looks great. Now, the last thing I want is to have design your life and then maybe the Canva logo right here. Or maybe I can flip that image like so. So the Canva logo will come on this part which is a little bit lighter 
and it would be a little bit nicer. Okay, so design your life. I can come back to my text right here, design your life. So I'm gonna speed up this process for you guys because we still have a lot to do. So I'm gonna paste that right here. Let's pretend I just designed it. Let's make that centered right here on my computer. And if you really want to make it center, make sure this is a group of elements. Select your computer and then position middle center. Okay, design your life and then the Canva logo. This is the webinar. Let's make Ronnie a little bit bigger here. And I think we are good to go with this webinar visual. Again, if you are creating a Facebook event, you will probably use the same visual you use to promote this event on Facebook or the banner of the event. But right here, I think this will work. What I like about this is that this text is also animated. You see the ascent animation. So the final result of this page will be slightly animated with the text here showing, you see, it will be showing like this. Okay. so. Actually, what I need to do is to bring that piece right here about here on my timeline. So let's play this. Let's bring the time indicator right here. And Invite listen. To join my free webinar. It is gonna... Okay, so my free webinar. So this piece right here is where I want to showcase the visual of the webinar. Okay, so I need to bring it here, but if I simply replace this, I'm gonna lose the sound of my voice. So I cannot get rid of this video. So the video needs to stay, but I need to bring these visuals. So what I'll do, I will copy everything here. Okay, uh, copy, come back to my specific page right here where I need to copy it. And I will simply paste. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now I need this uh, yellow background. So I'm gonna add another grid. Okay, so by going back to my elements, finding my grid, and then giving that grid simply the yellow color. And now I have the exact visual I just created. Join my free webinar. It is gonna... But I also have my voice because the video is still underneath this visual right here. It is actually behind this background. All right, let's continue designing our animations. The next one I want is actually... It is gonna be completely free and they're friendly. Okay, so it is gonna be completely free and beginner friendly. So here I want to create two more animations, okay? So this one right here, I'm done with this so I can get rid of it. Let's play it from here again. It's gonna be completely free and beginner friendly. Okay, so it's gonna be free and beginner friendly. Let's start with this, the end of it, beginner friendly. I kind of want to have like two check boxes, like free, beginner, okay? so. This is what I have in vision here. So let's continue with this font right here. I'm gonna grab this font, come to the right place, play the video again. And beginner friendly. Okay, so beginner friendly. It's gonna start here. Let's paste that, use the yellow color. So let's put it here and make it to about this size. And I'm going to justify this to the left. So it's not live, it's gonna be free and beginner friendly. So beginner, okay, so I need to give that more space. Okay. Beginner, and then I'm gonna copy this holding my option key or my alt key on a PC to about here, this is good. And I'm gonna type in free. Okay, free and beginner friendly. Next, I'm gonna go to my elements and try to find this little tick box, but animated this time. So uh, maybe I need a checkbox sticker. Checkbox sticker, see if I can find one. So actually, let's sort by graphics. I can see the check mark. Okay, this is good. See more like this. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I'm gonna use the blue one right here, this one, make that smaller, but it would be cool to actually have a box, right? So I'm just going to duplicate these twice. I'm holding my option key and dragging, but I also need the box and the box doesn't necessarily need to be animated. So I'm gonna use 
a simple box like this one. I'm going to use the same yellow color. And I want this to be the same size of my text, roughly. So about so, uh, can I change the color of this thing? No, I can't. All right, I need one that I can change the color. Yes, this one, that's gonna work fine. It's a little bit thicker, but that's fine. Okay, so let's make this the same size of my text and let's push it back. I want the check mark to be on top of it. Okay, this looks good. I can make the check mark slightly bigger like so. And the same with the second one. You see how Canva shows me like we are the same size. Now I need to select my little yellow square. So for that I use shift and tab to click. You see I clicked on the check mark and then shift, holding my shift and then tab to toggle between the different elements. Now I'm gonna use my command C, command V to paste that little box right here. So it needs to be aligned. And now just pushing it back. And now everything looks good. Okay, so free and beginner friendly. Okay, so that's the second frame. The first frame should just say free, right? So I'm gonna copy this thing right here. Control C, come to my page here and Control V. And now I should have all these animations. Let's play this. It's gonna be completely free and beginner friendly. I will be talking about. Okay, so that's good, but that's a lot of animations. We see this thing coming right here. Don't need that. So I'm gonna go back to it and remove the stomp here. Just remove the animation. And same here, remove these stomp animation for both uh, pieces of text. Okay, so remove animation and beginner remove the animation as well. Let's play that again. Completely free and beginner friendly. I will be talking. Okay, this is good. So uh, the only thing I still need here is this part right here with the eight little slices. So I will be talking about different ways me and my team have been coming to Canva to the blockchain. Okay, so it, so it sounds choppy, but it's because the rendering is not optimal at this stage with Canva. This is something I noticed. It doesn't mean your video is all messed up. So trust the process because I cut exactly where it needed to be cut. So now I need to design these eight keywords that will be appearing on my screen one by one. So I'm gonna uh, show you how I did that by creating a new page right here. Okay, so let me show you how I organize this effect, this animation uh, by pasting the work that I created previously, okay? So what I have here are eight different keywords and you see like there seems to be the first one with plain color and then everything else like in the hollow effect. So in order to achieve this, very simple, I use the effect which is the hollow effect. This text box right here that says YouTube is actually the normal text without any effect. But if I click on the second one, click on effect, you can see it's the hollow effect. No effect will be this, but the hollow effect is this. So basically these are eight different text boxes with the same font, the same thing, but I just applied the hollow effect to all of these keywords. And what I will be doing is to duplicate this page eight times in total. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then simply change the effect to the next word page after page. So when I will be using this and pasting this on my different video clips right here that I already sliced, you see all of these slices here and they are cut very short. This is 0.6 seconds. So each of these clips is gonna be a different of the keywords. So in order to achieve that, I first needed to uh, create the right keyword here. So I'm gonna speed up the video and just highlight the right word for each text box. All right, I think I'm done here. So let's quickly go over these. So I have YouTube, affiliate, coaching, Canva creator, template, sponsorship, webinar, and courses. Perfect. Now, all I have to do is to select all of these text boxes and to paste them on the relevant frame. Okay, so the first frame will be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So making sure I have this frame selected, I click on the video right here and control V to paste my keywords. And I'm going to one more time speed up the video and repeat this copy paste process for all my other pages.
Okay, I'm done pasting here. So let's quickly rewind and play this to see how it looks. It might sound a little bit choppy at this stage because Canvas rendering in the editor is not completely optimized right now. In different ways, me and my team have been using Canva to generate money. Okay, it looks decent. Uh, I'm happy about this. So what I can do at this stage is to delete these other pages right here. So I select them all, delete them from the grid view, and now I have all of these animations. I think I'm done with my animation. That is step five completed, guys. I have design your life, and then talking head, then um, kind of like the promo of the webinar, I have free and beginner. Okay, these two checkboxes. And now when I talk about the eight different ways my team and I have been making money, I will see this list with the word in plain color just moving down every six decimal of a second. So this looks good. Let's move on to step number six. All right, we are making some really good progress with our video ad right here. The video is 28.3 seconds at this stage, and I don't think it's gonna get any longer. We have designed our animations. We have a mix of animated things, talking head, things popping up on screen, and this cool effect with the keywords. So now, in order to make this video a little bit more professional, I would like to add some sound effects, okay? So the good news is that Canva recently added a bunch of sound effects in its audio library with Epidemic Sound. So in order to find these sound effects, you have to head over the audio tab, okay? The audio tab should be right here. So there it is, the audio tab. If you don't see it here, let's pretend you didn't see that. Uh, head over to the three little dot right here that says more and find your audio tab. Now, one thing I need to tell you right here is that free users won't have many choices when it comes to audio clips in Canva. Indeed, most of these clips are going to be pro only features, pro only elements from the library. So if you want to have access to all of these sounds with included the sound effects that Canva recently added to this sound library, I highly suggest that you switch to Pro, Canva Pro. We'll have a link in the description, which is our affiliate link. You can try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. So you can sign up, you'll get all the benefits of Pro for 45 days. And then if you don't cancel, you will get charged. But if you do cancel before the end of the free trial, you will have benefited from Canva for these 45 days. I highly recommend you switch to Canva Pro. I cannot live without Canva Pro, but that's me. It's just like anybody's choice to make. All right, let's come back to our video and wrap it up. Okay, so finding some uh, cool sound effects. The first one I would like to find is a sound effect for when I will be moving from this part of the video right here. Invite you to join my free webinar. You see this? Like I want to add some transitions here. So I'm gonna be moving with a, a slide. This slide right here, this is good. Um, yes, so I'm going to push. Mm, let's find the best way to do this. Yep, I think push up like this. So that's the transition in, and I'm going to add a transition out of this clip by clicking on the plus sign on the other side. This one right here, transition, slide, and this time I'm gonna go back up. So if I click on this one, yep. So this one needs to go the other direction, like so. Okay, this looks good. I'm gonna reduce this to maybe three decimal of a second, and this one as well. So instead of five, I'll just go three here, like so. Okay, so what I'm going to show you is to find a kind of a whoosh sound effect to put right here between these two clips. So for that, I'm going to search for a whoosh sound effect, whoosh, maybe this whoosh. Okay, I have a couple of whooshes. You can listen to them. Some of them will be very subtle. Okay, see, so I found this one right here it is called Whip Whoosh number 12. And let's me show you 
how it sounds. I'm going to zoom in on this timeline so you can see. Okay, I'm going to click here and play that. Okay, so you heard that? Yeah, okay. So it is right here. I feel like it's the right time. Maybe it's playing a little bit too soon. So I can move that slightly. Let me zoom in a bit more. So this is something else that I wish Canva could improve, like how you actually position your elements on the timeline. So I feel this is the right spot for it, but uh, I need to tweak this a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna click on it and this new panel right here, this new set of options will show up. The first thing I need to do is to reduce the volume to about half of this uh, loudness. Okay, let's play that again. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so I have my first one. I kind of need a second one for when the transition goes back. So let's try this one. Okay, this sounds good. I like that. Uh, let me see if I can position this a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab it and move it slightly so. Okay, I like that for the volume. Let's play it again. Okay, I like that. So I have my two sound effects here. They sound good. Uh, I can continue. I think I'm not gonna add sound effects for this part right here because it's already kind of like a lot of things going on. Design your life here. I could have some sounds. So I have these right here free and beginner well actually you know what i'm gonna add a sound for the free and the beginner okay so these two right here so i need a sound that starts here let's go with the ding um do i have dings ding ding the preview thing is not working super well bell short maybe this one yes Let's try this one. Completely free. Completely free. Yeah, this could work. Completely free. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this one. So option, oh, I cannot duplicate this if I hold my option key. So I'm just gonna command C, command V. Yep, and bring this here. And I'm just going to uh, reduce the volume a bit to 50% as well, I think. So 50% here and 50% here. And now should be good to go. Let's play that again. Let's play from here. Yep. I will be talking about this is good, I like that. I will be talking about, okay, the eight keywords from here. I'm not gonna add anything else. My goal with this webinar. Yeah, I just have the part where I speak about making money with Canva. Generate money. money. So on the last clip right here, money. this clip right here, I say money. So I'm just going to add a cash register sound. It's a little bit cliche, but I think it's gonna add a nice touch. Cash register, drawer, cash register, drawer. Let's see, this one. Yeah, this is good. Uh, a little bit cheesy, but it's gonna work. All right, so let's play it here again. Okay, so I say money. And I'm gonna drag it after I say money. Okay, so here. So it doesn't cover the word money. Yes, money and then ta-ching. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's reduce the sound of this a bit too to 50. And what I'm going to do here at the end is to fade out this audio effect. So in order to fade out, uh, click on your audio clip and then use the audio effect. And I'm gonna fade it out. And you should see this triangle right here. You see like the transparent triangle. So this is fading out my effect. So let's play it. My goal with this webinar is to help you too get started 
and design the life that you want. Okay, I think we're done with step number six, which was to add some sound effects. For that, we looked deep into the Canva audio library and searched for sound effects and specific sound effects like a cash register, a whoosh sound, etc., etc. So that's step number six. It's done. Let's now move on to step number seven. Step number seven is very easy and gonna be very quick. We're going to add a couple of transitions here and there. We already added one or two actually, but uh, I'm gonna go through the entire video and see if we need to add more transitions to make this video a little bit more fluid. So let's go back to the beginning of this video. And for that, I'm going to reduce the size of my timeline so I can actually see the entire thing on my one screen. Okay, so I think I need to reduce the zoom a little bit more. Okay, to here. So the way you add transition is pretty easy. Let's play the video. What's up Canva lovers? Okay, so this part right here, then I have the transition I added. So this one and this one. Completely free and beginner friendly. I will be talking about apron weight delays, me and my team. Okay, so here I don't need the transitions, but here... My goal with the... Okay, so the last one here, you see this plus button between the last one with the keyword, the cache register effect and sound effect. And so here I could add a transition to make this just a little bit smoother. I'm gonna use the same one, a slide in this direction. And that's it, I think. With this one transition right here, I'm good to go. I'm gonna leave it like so and just move to the final step of this video, which is to export our project and test it. And if it's good, we're gonna wrap up the video there. All right, guys, I think we've done a great job with this video ad. I think it's gonna look very nice after we export it. So let me show you the process of exporting this video. It's actually very simple. After you've double checked that everything is where it needs to be, okay? So in my case, I think it's all good there. What you want to do is to click on the share button right here and then locate the download button, okay? You're gonna click on that. What you need is an MP4 video. Okay, so just download all the pages and let Canva uh, do its thing. It's gonna take maybe a couple of seconds depending on the length of your video. We managed to keep ours at 27.4 seconds. So the challenge of having this video shorter than 30 seconds is actually reached. We made it, 27.4 seconds. This is a, actually a nice duration for an ad. It's not too long, it's not too short. So while this is exporting, why don't you go ahead and give us a like for this video. This will help us with the visibility here on YouTube. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, now would be an amazing time to do so. We have two new videos every week, one from me, one from Diana, and we are really passionate about teaching you guys how to use Canva. Today, really try to push Canva to its limit to see everything we can do with this video timeline, with the video editor. And so, yeah, let's hope the final result is good. All right, the video is exported. I'm looking forward to watch this one. So I'm gonna locate this and I'm gonna play this right here. Let me close that window, make this a little bit shorter for everybody to see and let's play it. What's up Canva lovers? If you want to learn how to use Canva to create multiple streams of income, I invite you to join a free webinar. It is gonna be completely free and beginner friendly. I will be talking about eight different ways me and my team have been using Canva to generate money. My goal with this webinar is to help you too get started and design the life that you want. All right, I really like it. I really like this part where I say, uh, when I talk about money and I have the sound effect. With money. My goal with this web. Yeah, and the push transition, the slide transition. So there you go, guys. This is me using only Canva to edit a Facebook video ad. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to check out this playlist right here because we have a bunch of other video related tutorials where we teach you how to use Canva to make other types of video. Thank you for watching until the end. I will see you in the next video.